Hello ladies and gentlemen, Magnadox here for another episode of Dark Souls. And in this episode, I was going to explore the new area, however I just noticed I came out to this, I was making my way over to this flying creature's death, but I... What is that? Is that the lizard dude over there? Yeah, we've already been up there. Okay, so... But I was making my way over there and I noticed, I went up to this cage and pressed A again, and I used the cage key that I found somewhere to open it. And now we're going to see exactly where this takes us. And I think it takes us to the realm of the faceless demons. Oh no, it takes us right out in front of this enemy dude to knock us off. Alright, can I go back up please? Um, excuse me. Cage. Yes. Now close. There we go. No, he didn't die. Okay, but so... It's another shortcut to get us all the way down or all the way back up in case we ever need to get to um, the other area. And again, I really like that about Dark Souls. I mean, I think Dark Souls Dark Souls 2 is a bit more convenient because you didn't have to get to a certain point in the game before you could fast travel between bonfires, but at least the game accommodates you. But now we're going to go to the strange winged duck. Oh, God, no, not this thing. Every time. Every, I always lock on to him just when my shield faces him so that I don't have to, uh, give me a second. Alright, okay, so, where was I? Oh yes, I fell, I fell off of this stupid thing again, because I keep targeting the guy to make sure my shield faces him, and he keeps turning me towards him so that I walk right off the edge. I need to just stop trying to target him. If it happens again, I think I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna just gonna turn off the game, and I'll come back another day and do it. But hopefully, I will learn from my mistakes for once in my life. Hopefully, for once in my entire life, I can make a mistake only once. Even though I've made this particular mistake twice before in the last episode. All right, here we go. We're not gonna target him. We're just gonna walk right up to him. There we go, now we're going to target him, and then we're going to kill him. Okay, everything went smoothly. Look, I even got an item out of it. The game congratulated me on not walking off the edge like an idiot. Now I'm a bit weak. The waste mask messes. But I think if the guys in the new area are anything like I remember from the last episode, I didn't even fight them in the last episode. I just saw one, and they seemed pretty, uh, pretty scary. So now I'm just gonna have these strange bird creatures. Oh no, I remember these guys are goblin. Golems. Whatever the heck they are. They're gonna carry me over the wall. I, don't, I still don't understand why they need three of them. If two of them could pick me up, and it's that third one I'll guard, just to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Alright, put me down. I'm ready. Let's do this. No fear. No regrets. I think this is, what, New Londo? Is that what it's called? No, a Norlando. That was a new Londo. Okay, so we're going to waltz right in like we own the place. And we're going to kill the first guy we see, because I remember him being right down these steps. We're just going to take him out. We're not going to ask questions. See, look at this guy. He's a wimp. He doesn't know nothing. He can't step... Are you not going to attack me? Oh, no, he isn't. Okay, good. He really doesn't... Okay, that strike did a lot of endurance. Good thing I do some damage. Alright, see, these guys are slow. They're big and they're slow and they're nothing. Nothing to be afraid of. He's just... He's big. That's all he's got going for him. Look at him. Huh. Nerd. Get wrecked. 1,500 souls. And, oh gosh, now there's two of them. And there's a dragon. That's... One steam behind him, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's just... There we go, single him out. Oh, this might be a while. He's gonna he's gonna take a sweet time. I'm just 
to sit here and wait for him. Okay, he's gonna strike. Strike again. Is he going for the triple? No. Nope. Normally have a triple attack pattern. Just shield smash. He's gonna shield smash again and probably hit me. He's just gonna stun me. Not, not much to really go on when this area is gonna look like besides having giant monsters. Not, not monsters, because we're people. Giant soldiers running around and nice checkered pattern floor. Not big enough to play chess on, but I think it'd be a I think it'd be a lovely idea for them to put some uh, giant chess pieces in here. Get a big enough board. Roll out of the way, somehow right into his spear, and remain on skin. And then just stand under his legs and break his kneecaps. This area isn't so bad. Is there a secret doorway anywhere? I will, oh gosh. A chest. Alright, we're gonna find out if this method works. Demon Titanite. I thought I got that only from killing faceless demons. I still don't know if that method of hitting the chest first works. I think it works in Dark Souls 2, but if you hit it too many times, it'll break and you just get rubbish. And you wouldn't get the item that's in the chest. Well, I feel like there's gonna be some giant fight out here. No, I'm not walking into a giant courtyard to fight somebody. Thank you, sorry. Thank you, helpful Dark Souls players. Oh look, there's a dude I can talk to. Hey friend, are you here by the well, bonfire for safety? You are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Oh, you can re reinforce my Estes flask as well? Oh, and this bonfire is upgraded, so I get 10 Estes flasks. But those directions weren't very clear. Oh, you want to you find Lord Gwyn? Just exit here and travel yonder ways. You'll find him eventually. If you're truly the chosen one, you'll just know. I swear, they should... <laughs> I Somewhere out there, there has to be a game that's making fun of the whole chosen one thing, where it's like, oh, if you're the chosen one, you'll really know where to go, and you're just like lost the entire time. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't know that was an elevator. What the heck? Oh, this is scary. Try fleeing. Oh, can I ride this? Can I ride this corkscrew to the top? Okay, it's just constantly going, so I can exit anytime I want. But so there needs to be, if there's not a game all of, well, I'm just gonna ignore that for right now. If there's not a game already that has like, the people are like, oh, if you're the chosen, uh, the magical light will reveal to the chosen one the, des the destination for his travels. And there's actually no magic light, and the reason that the world's never been saved is because there's actually no chosen one. And everyone's like expecting the chosen one just to know what to do. Oh, this is just a golem like from the rooftop. See, no, he doesn't even hurt that much. Come on, buddy. What you gonna do? Look, I'm get right under you. Yeah, nothing. I missed. Look at that. I'm about to RT. Hard hit. Look, I got your tail now, punk. What can you do about it? Uh oh, I'm dead. Okay, I thought I was gonna hit me with a double. Okay, I got I got a tail axe. I don't need you in my screen the entire time. This guy's flying around. It's kind of hard to keep track of him. It's not gonna be like a dragon. He's just constantly flying, so I can hit him. Just okay, just one hit. I'm playing my cards right here. Uh oh, uh oh. That could kill me. I'm gonna be safe. Playing it safe. 
Come on, Gargoyle, what you running from, huh? Scared they got your tail? Ouch. Thought I got under you. Yeah. That was pretty tough, actually. It's tougher than I thought it would be. I thought I was just wrecking instantly. I mean, I fought three of them at once. Why is Woods one guy such a problem? Or were those just the uh, lesser gargoyles? And this guy was the real deal. There's no way. There's no way you're supposed to uh, jump that. I'm not even going to try. You can't. You can't. There. It's tempting. There has to be. There has to be like a button you push to bring up a walkway. Or look at the stairs. There's like stairs to the side, and you just think you'd have to jump. Oh, I can go over there. There we go. I'll just drop down right here. Make sure there's no enemies around. Hello? Is that a ladder? Nope. There's a chest back here, though. More demon titan. Okay, so what's this demon? Did I use demon titanite on my catcher pole? No, I use twinkling. But how's what weapon uses demon titanite? And where is this weapon so I can find it and use it? Because I seem to have a excess of demon titanite at this point. At this point in my Dark Souls career. It's just a sheer drop to death. Oh, that's where it was before. I'm just glad that this particular architectural style involves having a walkway around the outside of every building. I think that's a nice touch. Excuse me. Giant corkscrew uh, elevator. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. What's down? The only thing that's down there is the gargoyle and an impossible jump that expects me to think I can make, which I can't. I've missed much easier jumps before. I have missed much easier pathway walking I've I've fallen off cliffs walking what makes you think I can make a jump who needs humanity humanity's for suckers I'll prove it too I'm gonna beat these guys without even having any humanity come on let's oh I, f I feel like I'm getting closer to the Ornstein and Smo boss fight considering the two statues one of Ornstein, one of Smo. I still have my bow equipped. Um, there we go. Hey, punk. The only way I'm gonna beat these guys is one. Is one on one. So I'm gonna just hurry up and kill these guys, and I'll s and I'll come back when I'm done. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a pretty interesting. That, uh, oops, I missed. There we go. I'm always, always on the lookout for secret doors for special goodies. But yeah, so that guy right there, he wasn't taking damage for a little bit, and I was scared that he was somehow buffed and invincible or something. And it was a little bit frightening. This chest. Yes, it does work. You can hit the chests in order to tell if they're mimics or not. Don't let it hug you. Alright, also they look different, too. There's a little bit of... 
the mimic chests are just a bit worse looking. They look a bit worse for wear. Yeah, I'll make sure I okay. Tested. So that method is tested and proven. Tried it tried and true. Work every time. And now I've <laughs> Now I just have to inch closer to my imminent demise so that I'd sooner or later have to face Orin's demon smoke. Because I know they're here somewhere. The two, if the two statues were to give away, then the fact that I've seen people fight them before and it looks kind of a... castle-esque, the area that they're in? I guess that's how you call it. Um, it's kind of a dead giveaway. Me hollow. Try pyromancy. Weakness ranged battle. Examine brilliant light. Oh gosh, why can't anything in this game just be sealed by the Lord's great power? Oh, so I have to kill all the great lords? That means I have to kill, I already killed Quelog. That means I have to kill, who else was it, the Scalus? Do I have to kill Scalus? I have to kill Scalus. Um, who else? I can't remember. The witch. The witch was one as well as. I already killed. I already killed the witch. Didn't I? No. I don't, maybe, maybe Queen Quaylag wasn't one of the big four. All I remember is the witch, uh, the death dude who sent a plague upon the houses of all the dragons, Lord Gwyn, which I think is actually the final boss fight. Mm. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. Okay, thank you. I don't think I have. Do I have enough souls to level up? Almost though. If I kill one more of those big guys, I will. But I don't know how to get into the next area because it's sealed by the like, Lord's great power. I'm assuming I have to kill all four of the bosses, and I cannot travel between bonfires yet, which means it's going to be a long walk. Of course. Access file blocks, can to first home. Yeah. It's going to be a long walk to the I think the only other place I haven't been is the past Queen Quayleg. Oh jeez. It's gonna be quite the march to get down there. Or maybe I can go back and kill the faceless demons now? Maybe I'm strong enough. I don't know. I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just a lost, lost adventurer, roaming through the streets of Anorlando. Do I have to be human to get past me? That kind of makes sense. Although I feel like, I feel like I have to kill all of the main bosses. Because that's what it was in Dark Souls 2. So that means I'm gonna have to go back through all the areas I've been and try to find all the bosses. Although I think I know there has to be one past uh, the Queen Quaylek fight in the fiery pits of <laughs> pits of hell. But it's gonna be some exploring. I'm gonna be lost for a while. It's gonna be an interesting experience, to say the least. And if I know me, and if you know me, you'll know that I'll be looking around for hours without making any headway whatsoever on where I'm supposed to go. I mean, these guys aren't that tough. I think I'm over leveled for this area because I spent so much time in the parts before this. Just kind of fighting 
doing nothing, just running around lost, that I collected so many souls. And I collected so many souls that I'm leveled up a bit too much. And that's one of the advantages of being bad, bad at Dark Souls. You stay in one area so long, you become a bit over leveled. So now I gotta think. So I can go back and kill those faceless demons, or I can go kill the. What the heck was that? Or I can go uh to the fire <laughs> to the fiery domain after Quailon. But whichever one of those I do, I'm going to have to do it in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.